You know, this is honestly something that I should have done, like, probably a week ago, is try and get out of silver. But then I was also like, you know, I've also been playing a lot of French Destroyers, and I want to play more French Destroyers, and I don't have to replay, and I don't have Fantasque, so I can't play French Destroyers in Ranked. So... And I'm also too cheap to rebuy Fantasque. And I also don't want to have to retrain a captain for it. So here we are. Uh, I, I put it off and now we're back at fucking uh, rank 10 again. So um, rip to me, I guess. Uh, first things first, looking at the matchmaking threats to my ship. There's no radar whatsoever, which is nice. Uh, Kagero, Benson, and Fantasque for destroyers. Bismarck and Zeton are going to be really annoying to deal with because uh, they're just going to be secondary spec. Although they are going to burn very nicely because they are secondary spec. And the weakness with secondary ships is like all you have to do is just not be close to them. And they're just countered. You literally just kite them away and you farm them with HE because they have no survivability whatsoever because they put so much uh, dedication into specking for secondaries. They don't have anything to actually keep themselves alive aside from what the ship comes with out of the box. And you just kite them away and you farm them down. So, anyway. Uh, they're not going to be, they're going to be annoying, sure, but they're not going to be actually that dangerous, is what I'm getting at. The Kagro, Benson, and Fantask are going to be the biggest issues. Uh, the Benson and the Kagro I can deal with, because I outspot the Benson and I outgun the Kagro. The Fantask is going to be the one that's going to be the biggest issue, because, uh, French Destroyers... They have that reload booster, and they are very, very nasty to deal with because they have that reload booster. And they are, uh, that Fantast did, uh, fast dive that island, which is interesting because you typically don't see people doing that because the issue with that is then you're, you're then locked into that position with, uh, very, very little to actually, uh, keep you alive at that point. Although they do have something else over there. It looks like it might be the Catalonia. There's the Kagero. And our Benson is just going to smoke up in front of him. Wonder if this, uh, Fantesque is going to Alright. That fan, our Herakazi just killed himself because reasons. Alright, and there's a fantastic like in our in our mouths. Just gotta single fire those. Let's try and slow him down. Better to get reload boosted, boys. Well, I guess not. I think he burned his reload booster already on the, uh... Ow. Fucking Bismarck. Hello? Alright, that was annoying. On the bright side, the... Kagro did go down to those uh, Benson torpedoes. Is this Benson? No, he's not. That's unfortunate. I think right now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try and get into uh, both A and B right here. This Benson is getting uh, hammered pretty good. Uh, this Bismarck is going to be a problem because he's just going to walk it looks like the Benson is just straight up killing himself, though. Yeah. There he goes. 
So now, because they have no radar, we're just gonna walk into uh, walk into the middle here. And as long as we don't get hydroed by that Seton, we're we'll be good to go. And our Benson is trying to uh, gunfight a Bismarck. And of course, goes dark. How the hell is that Benson not spotting him though? Oh, whatever, I guess. Uh, Bismarck's locking himself up against the island there. And he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna... I don't think he's gonna eat any of those torpedoes. There goes the Bayard. Or Massachusetts might be killing himself. Although, on the bright side, we do have all of these caps. Once this Bismarck goes down, uh, we're just going to walk at sea. We're going to take that. Although, honestly, is that Bismarck going to turn back north? And there goes the uh, Catalonia. We might try and get our farm on this Bismarck here. Although the Benson looks like he's doing a pretty good job of it already. And the Anhalt as well. Uh, Massachusetts might end up taking a ram here. Uh, if he doesn't get torpedoed, that is. This is, uh... No, he got torpedoed. Unlucky. Just gonna try and get a finish on this Bismarck. Hello? He's healing. Come on. A Benson and an Anhalt cannot kill a Bismarck. There we go. I really should have smoked up right there, but. And what it's honestly whatever, because uh, we're basically guaranteed to win no matter what, as long as uh, these two don't throw. And uh, the fact that they didn't kill themselves immediately already puts them ahead of people like uh, the Harakazi right there. So, but what the fuck? Shut the fuck up. Anyway, we're just going to single launch uh, these conga line torps right there. And this Seton's going to have to push around. He's going to lose otherwise. Smoke up and he did go dark. That's unfortunate. Might try and... Oh, no. He got spotted again by something. I'm honestly not entirely sure by what, because I'm pretty sure the island is blocking line of sight from both the Benson and that Anhalt. So, whatever. I'm just going to get our farm on. Hopefully try and get a fire going on this guy. There we go. Let our smoke expire. I'm just gonna wait for another one. Zeton did DCP that. Just gonna open up again, try and get him on fire, and we're gonna duck behind this island. Although, that's, this guy's probably not going to survive, regardless. Uh, no, he's absolutely dead. If not to those torpedoes, then to the double fire he's on. And if not to any of those, then to the fucking Anhalt. So, that was literally like a fucking, uh, what, six, seven minute game, really? How long did that last? Eight minutes. And it was really honestly very well decided 
before that point anyway, so on it. Do I wanna do I wanna risk getting another one? Fuck it, we're we're doing another one. Twenty six base defenses, by the way. Uh and immediately looking at this queue, I'm already feeling like I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh because there were immediately at one carrier and two submarines were the only other things in the queue, although it does look like they're uh, evening out a little bit now. Now we have to just, I guess, sit here for 48 hours and wait for a game. Which, by the way, is not a joke. I actually do have a friend from a long, long time ago. This is like 20... Uh, 16, 2017, something like that. Uh, I had a friend who sat in the ranked queue for 48 hours. And the system back then worked a little bit differently. And, like, there was, like, a... There was, like, 20 ranks, and every five ranks was its own league. With the top five being called the Premier League. And, uh, this Premier League... Was, like, he was the first... One of the first people to reach said... Premier League, so it took like two days for people, like enough people to catch up to him uh, for him to get a game. But anyway, enough of that shit. Uh, we got another game. First things first, looking at the matchmaking. Uh, Wichita, I do believe, has radar. Uh, Z23 is the only destroyer. Salmon for a submarine. Uh, the, uh, does the Wichita get radar, or is that the Boy, no, Boise gets the uh, zombie heal, doesn't it? Uh, I, I think I'm pretty sure Wichita is the one that has radar. So I'm going to... Well, even if he doesn't have radar, I'm not positive. So we're just going to treat him like he does for right now. Uh, right now, I'm just going to speed boost into B. We're going to take that. And we're just going to haul ass over to A. And we're going to pray that that Wichita doesn't have radar range over it. Did get to the caps at pretty much the same time. Uh, are we going to get a double cap going? So far, they only have one ship in there. Uh, no, I think they're. Uh, that's definitely a double cap speed right there. That's, yeah, that's absolutely a double cap right there. That was actually pretty close. Uh, those were red tracers, so I, I want to say those were Wichita shells. Alright. Just gonna haul ass towards A. There's a smoke over there. Uh... Is the Wichita get smoke? Is that... No, that looks like it's Z23 smoke. Because look how fast that uh, smoke screen is going. If that was the Wichita, I believe he probably would have slowed down to smoke up. Not guaranteed to, but uh, I think he... I'm pretty sure he would have. Also, it's really, really annoying that this score timer does like that thing now. Like, it was fine, like, like, it used to do that all of the time, like, it always did that, where, like, it would show, like, a solid, or, like, a open, uh, symbol, whether, if you were going to win or not, but, like, it didn't used to, like, flash the way it does, so it's kind of annoying now, and as far as I know, there's no way of actually turning that off, so that's really annoying. This guy gonna smoke up. No, he's gonna shoot. Thank you very much. How the hell does he not get detected? Because our fucking submarine is on the fucking uh, underwater. Even though there's literally nothing else around here that would have detected him. Motherfucker went underwater. Just because, of course. We now have a Massachusetts over here to deal with.
And there's the Wichita. And this shill is really the only person who's even in any position whatsoever to shoot at it. This actually might be kind of bad. Although we do have a Zeton walking at their home base. Okay, this is too much heat. I cannot contest this. Uh, if I get spotted by that submarine or by that Z-23, the chances of me making it out alive are pretty slim. That is just too much firepower that I really can't afford to take. So we're just going to have to surrender control of A for right now. I'm just going to have to hope that uh, that one of these other things is going to be able to deal with it. There is a submarine. Oh, actually, this I mean, this guy is actually getting dunked on pretty good by this uh, San Diego. Who's he, uh, who he's gamer turning in front of. So I'm just going to keep this guy spotted for this San Diego and hopefully we'll be able to uh, melt him down. Is that a pretty nasty crossfire, actually, between the San Diego and the uh, Shill right there? So we're just going to uh, make sure this guy stays spotted. And once he's dealt with, then we'll switch our farm target to this Massachusetts. Yeah, this uh, salmon is getting detected by the enemy submarine surveillance. Uh, I I want to say those are Z-23 torpedoes. Try and get our farm on this guy. Uh, San Diego? Gonna, gonna torp him? Maybe? Question mark? Uh, I think those torps might have been a little bit premature, if I'm being totally honest. Our salmon beached and killed himself. There's a Wichita over here. And Hulk has a Massachusetts he's got to deal with. I have a Wichita I have to deal with, and a Z-23. Looks like our San Diego is going to take down the Massachusetts, so that's really good. Although he, he might not survive due to the whole, like, Anholt problem, like, in his mouth, but no. He did at least take down the Massachusetts with him, which trading a basically a f about, like, a two-thirds or half-health battleship for... For a cruiser is honestly not the worst trade. I'm just going to put out some torps like that. And this Wichita is low enough that I probably could have taken the fight. But there's no need for me to uh, have done that. Because why have to tr take on two low health targets when one of them can just die. And then I just take on the other low health target by myself and uh, and only take fire from one low health enemy instead of two that sort of thing although uh, set 23 is not exactly low he is uh, still half health which is a decent amount because well I'm not gonna say anything about it he, is he did decide he wants to gunfight a Zeton, though, which is a very interesting decision, if I'm being honest. Well, there goes the uh, Zeton. Got torpedoed. So right now, Massachusetts, I'm not sure what his plan is going to be, but I think mine is definitely going to be deal with the Z-23 and then try and deal with the Salmon, I think. I'm gonna try and get out of the Z-23 Hydro range. I'm not, I'm honestly not sure if that Hydro ran out 
or if uh, I just left it range, but I'm going to throw out my Hydro just in case either the Salmon or the uh, Z23 decide to launch some Make-A-Wish Torps in my direction. We are still very much in danger of losing this game. It does look like that Hydro duration simply ran out. I don't think that, uh, that I left its range. So we're just going to run out here and assassinate this guy. There you go. Looks like, uh, hopefully the Massachusetts... Okay, the Anhal just straight up left B. I was hoping the Massachusetts was going to manage to get a clutch reset on him, but no need, because the guy just left. So... We're just what we're gonna do is we're going to cap uh we're definitely gonna cap A. And I think my play is going to be just run at C. As uh the salmon looks to be in this channel right here. At least that's where the Massachusetts is dropping depth charge is at. So I guess unless he's just dropping blind, which is always possible, uh I'm guessing the uh, salmon did something to indicate that he's right there, which is pr well. No, we didn't see any pings on the mini map, so uh, I guess that might be where like torpedoes came from or something. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna see if we can blind shoot this guy. No, doesn't look like it. Oh well, but Anholt should be dying here. Well, actually, our Massachusetts might be throwing. Our Shill also might be throwing. Hello? Uh, they're choosing violence. Okay. Salmon... I, I believe is probably going to be more interested in ch uh, saving his own skin. Okay, that, never mind. Uh, we should win this. E well, actually, no. There's no way we don't win this because uh, this message, even if the Massachusetts killed himself, uh, this Anholt's just going to get killed by the shill. Either by torpedoes or that happens, so. Anyway, that is the standard of ranked. Thank you very much. It was a kind of a shitty game, but, you know, this is ranked after all. Uh, it happens, so. That is going to do it for today. Uh, I might, I'm, yeah, I'm not decided if I'm going to really pursue ranked or not. We'll see, but. Either way, that is going to be it for today, and I will see you tomorrow.